which is why last night orders came down to evacuate Idlewild. 6,000 people ordered to move out. Though the fire remains in sight of Palm Springs, firefighters today were trying to push the fire east and away from the Idlewild area and the extreme southern parts of Palm Springs. KMIR 6's Angela Monroe is on the fire tonight. She has more information for us. Angela. That's right, Elizabeth. Thousands of people evacuated from their homes in Idlewild, and here I am in South Palm Springs, where if you look over to the mountainside, you can see that it is burning up there. Fire officials tell us that it's only two miles from us here in Palm Springs. That's the same distance it is from Idlewild, but the big difference is they say that we're safe here in Palm Springs, but that Idlewild is in the path of danger. This idyllic town nestled in the mountains is eerily quiet, a ghost town. The residents fled, but Matthew Whitlofer returned for his cat, Dottie. Overwhelmingly relieved. I, I, you know, I mean, I'd be sad if our house burned down and we lost things, but I mean, losing people and pets, they can't be replaced. So the idea that um, she'd be a casualty just uh, really upset me this morning. John, a part-time resident, is heading out now. Nothing like what you see on the movies or TV when you see the roaring flames just coming at you, it's like so surreal, you're like, you know, what do I do? The Sheriff's Department put this yellow crime scene tape on every house they checked. They say about 5% of the people decided to take their chances and stay behind. And there's a few of my neighbors that are still there, so, but that's their main house, so they're going to stand and protect, I guess. And we're encouraging those who have, have stayed behind to heed that order and leave. Uh, we cannot guarantee your safety. The U.S. Forest Service says the mountain fire is the national priority. When you get a column that puts out this much smoke, embers get into the, the column and can drop anywhere. It's going, for the next two days, it's predicted to go right over the top of this town. The Forest Service says the fire was human caused. They're investigating. They're also fighting the fire on the Palm Springs side of the mountain. We've been concentrating effort in there to keep it on mid slope using helicopters and retardant. In Idlewild, people gone signs tell the tale of a town that left for safety and are anxiously waiting for word they can return. I have a lot of confidence and faith like a lot of people in Idlewild do with the firefighters and I guess they have like 3,000 people on, on the line and, um, and we're just hoping that it, it's going to be stopped. There are nearly 3,000 firefighters battling the blaze and some good news too. I just spoke with a Cal Fire official who told me that while the fire doubled in size every day, today is the first day that it has not doubled in size. They're expecting to have new estimates sometime later this night on the containment as well as the acreage. Live in Palm Springs, I'm Angela Monroe. Now back to you.